they're headed home because we've learned the verdict not coming this yep. afternoon and evening. The judge just announcing the jury is calling it a night. They'll return tomorrow morning. The anxiety is building in Kenosha. We've got team coverage from inside and outside the courthouse. Let's start with Angelica Sanchez, who's been at the courthouse since the trial began. And that 12 person jury is going home, given some very strict instructions not to talk about this case that will be returned for deliberation tomorrow. That jury deliberated for just over nine hours today. They did have a, a break around noon, but again, nine hours of deliberation and still no verdict. Now, day 12 of the trial of the of the trial of Kyle Rittenhouse started with the teen drawing six numbers in a tumbler. Those numbers dismissed six jurors and, and made them alternates. The 12 person jury is made up of seven women and five men. Deliberation started close to 930 this morning. The only questions the jury has had for the court so far is a request for extra copies of jury instructions. The judge told the alternate jurors to remain in the courthouse throughout the day as they could be called to help in deliberations. In cases you'd recognize by their importance, uh, where jurors have been restored to the jury, uh, after having been dismissed, so that is conceivable it would happen in this case. It's not likely, but it's in fact, it's quite unlikely, but it's possible. Rittenhouse now faces five charges. Only two of them have lesser included offenses, and those, those are for the shooting deaths of Anthony Huber and for seriously injuring Gage Grosskreutz. The prosecution has asked provocation be added to the jury instructions, meaning the jury is now also going to consider whether Rittenhouse provoked the entire incident. Now, with this jury going home uh, for the evening and returning tomorrow, there is no clear indication on when a verdict obviously will be ready. All we know is the media is that once that verdict is ready, there will be a one hour warning. Reporting live inside the Kenosha County Courthouse, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. We know nine hours, not enough. Angelica, thank you.